Welcome to another installment of Objects We Love. My name is Keith Wilson, and I'm curator of ancient Chinese art at the Freer and Sackler Galleries. I would like to share a cast bronze object in the Freer collection. This is one of my absolute favorites. As you can see, it's a pouring vessel, like a pitcher, with a spout at the front and a handle at the back. The weighty container, which is smaller than a loaf of bread, also has a lid and stands on four pointed feet. Together, the spout and the lid suggest that the vessel was used to serve warm liquids, probably a kind of alcohol. Made over 3,000 years ago, it may have been used in important ritual ceremonies, presumably the symbolic banquets of food and drink offered to deceased ancestors. At the time, the preferred alcoholic beverage was made by fermented grain. The resulting drink would have been something like the sake that we know today. I love this object because it's so strange and wondrous. The vessel and its lid are completely covered with decoration, mostly depictions of real and imaginary animals. Some are complete and others are depicted only in part. Each element is curious, but the combination is especially peculiar, almost frightening. The more I've studied the decorated surface, the more it seems like a representation of a terribly bad dream. Perhaps that was the objective of its ancient designer who lived some 3000 years ago. Since it's so complex, I asked the Smithsonian's digitization program office to scan it and make this amazing high resolution 3D model. Now available to the public on the Smithsonian's 3D platform at 3d.si.edu, the model allows us to manipulate and study the object almost like we were holding it in our hands. In fact, this modern tool allows us to marvel at the creativity of the vessel's designers who used the bulging profile at the front of the container to suggest the form of a standing bird. The sharp beak draws our attention to its head with wide staring eyes beneath brows and an upright crest. Ears project directly behind. Beneath the body, and depicted on the vessel's front feet are the bird's clawed legs, terminating in three sharp talons. Closer inspection begins to reveal anomalies, however, like the fact that the bird's wings are actually shown as coiled dragons. Returning to the bird's head, we find four-legged lizards filling spaces between its eyes and beak. What are they doing here? Further exploration offers all sorts of discoveries. The dramatically horned head of a ram at the front of the lid has no body. Instead, the space behind it is occupied by a horned dragon, a tiger, a fish, and an elephant. Most frightening of all are these little humanoids on the vessel's two rear feet. Each has a scaly or tattooed arms and a snake-like body. Both are held in the jaws of a monster just above. Although we don't know exactly what this accumulation of motifs may have meant to viewers 3000 years ago, we can say that to our eyes, the combination of real and imaginary creatures seems to show a spirit world that is caught in constant movement and flux. If you want to study the 3D model yourself, please visit 3d.si.edu and look for it among the Freer and Sackler Gallery objects listed in the Explore section of the 3D website. I have created some animated 3D tours of the object there too, which you can access by clicking the globe icon. Thanks for listening, and I hope now you love this object as much as I do.